have come with the next module, module 9.5. So, module 9.1 was the basic concepts, theoretical concepts and how to compute index cost of acquisition and index cost of improvement. 9.2 module you have learned how to compute long term capital gain and short term capital gain with the help of 5 problems. Module 9.3, section 54 and 54B we have learned. Module 9.4 we have learned section 54D and 54EC. Now this module we are going to do 54G, 54GA and 54GB. So here you have to remember this is I am not included, I have not included problems. I cannot say that problems will not come but I have not seen questions asking from these sections. So I am giving importance for only the theoretical aspects. So in the when we do the combined problems in the capital gain also, again and again I have checked. So the, these provisions are not included in the questions because other sections are getting the weightage. Those sections are more important. Section 54F, 54, 54B, 54D and 54EC. So this I am only explaining the theoretical concepts and you will really find it helpful. So three sections we are going to learn. First one is I told you 54G, 54GA and 54GP we are going to learn. So first one is 54G. So capital gain on shifting of an industrial undertaking from urban area to non-urban area. That meaning it's not urban area, either semi-rural or rural area they are shifting. So shifting an industrial undertaking, what all will be the exemptions possible? So conditions, following conditions are satis to be satisfied. Capital gain shall be exempted as per the rates given below. So first one is capital asset that is plant and missionary or land and building or any right therein. Even if it's they are taking a lease also. So that is the right in a property or a land and building. Transfer due to shifting of industrial undertaking from urban area to rural area. Continuing, capital gain is reinvested within a period of one year before or three years after the date of. So 1, 2 and 3 we have learned in section 54. Here you have to remember one year before. I told you we can make an early decision before selling the existing unit. See when they want to re-establish to a semi-urban area, they can start looking for that. They can do the advance payment like that. That is how they will make investments one year before the sale of the existing property or three years after the date of transfer. He has to purchase new missionary or plant or for the purpose of business to which the said industrial undertaking is shifted. So whatever he sold, either it can be plant or missionary or land, he has to buy another one. Now, acquiring building or land or construction of building for the purpose of business in the said area. So, the idea of buying land or building is to continue with the business in the new, newly shifted area. Now, shifting of original asset and transferring the establishment of such undertaking to such area. So, that is the idea. Again and again, they are emphasizing shifting or re-establishing to the new place. Now, incurred expenses. So, shifting an industrial unit, which may not be like household shifting. Household shifting itself, we now we have to call the packers and movers and all. It's an expensive thing. So here, industrial shifting, it will be more expensive. Plant and machinery, furniture, all that heavy machinery and all, you have to try, you have to shift from one place to another. So expenses will be there. Expenses on such other purpose as may be specified in a scheme framed by the central government for the purpose of this section. So central government can give the exemption for these expenses of shifting also. Now, specified purpose. What are not specified purpose? For purchase of new machinery or plant for the purpose of business of the industrial undertaking in the area to which said undertaking is shifted. That is the expenses for expenses incurred for shifting from the present place to the new place. Now, acquisition of building or land or construction of building for taxpayers business of that other area. The When you want to buy a capital asset, always expenses will be there. Legal expenses can be there or any other related assets will be expenses will be there. Now expenses on shifting of the old undertaking and its establishment to the other area. So expenses for shifting from the present place to the new place. Now incurring of expenditure on such other purpose as specified by the central government. So that again and again they are specifying expenses will be incurred and this is for shifting from the present place to the new place. Now what will be the amount of exemption? If the capital gain on the transfer of the original asset is equal to or less than the cost and expense incurred for the above specified purpose, entire capital gain shall be exempt. 
So the idea is if you are getting a capital gain. So what that we compare with the new investment plus the expenses incurred for shifting from original place to the new place. So if there is no difference, nothing has to be paid as tax. If there is difference, if there is unutilized amount, then definitely he has to pay the tax. That is the meaning. So if the amount, if the capital gain on transfer of the original asset is greater than the cost and expenses incurred for the specified purpose, then the exemption shall be allowed to the extent of the cost and expenses incurred. Again, I want to specify that this is the, see, whatever capital gain you got, now you compare it with the new investment and the expenses for shifting from new place to the old, uh, old place to the new place. So if there is any balance, he has to pay the tax. Now, amount of exemption, amount of exemption available will be as follows. Amount of capital gain generated on transfer of capital asset in the case of shifting of an industrial undertaking as stated above or the cost and expenses incurred in relation to all or any other purpose mentioned whichever is less. Here again I am specifying the point that whatever balance which is not utilized. So how you compare the balance? Whatever the new investment made and the expenses for shifting. Because why we are again and again we are talking about expenses for shifting is industrial undertaking shifting will be huge expenditure. So that is the if any balance amount is there they have to pay the tax. Now consequences will be there if that asset is transferred within three years i told you in almost all the sections this three-year ban is there so amount of exemption given earlier would be taken back as usual in all other sections in this case capital gain transfer of the new asset will be calculated as follows why i have given it in a table format here i'll tell you why sale consideration of the new asset so before three years if the ssc is selling whatever the sale price he got less cost of acquisition in the new asset so, if he has purchased again new asset, so the difference you have to see. Now, minus exemption given earlier under section 80G. So, when you see the difference, it will be, it, always in that case, it will be long-term capital gain. We were talking about always long-term capital gain. Here, we are talking about short-term capital gain. The reason is, I told you, depreciable asset, it's always short-term capital gain. Here, this is an industrial undertaking. Industrial undertaking, always we will be charging depreciation. So, this capital gain will be short term because it's always depreciable asset plan, machinery, building, everything. We are charging depreciation when we are calculating the profit for the industrial unit. So, it will be short term capital gain. To give emphasis, I have put it in the table format. Now, sec next section 54 GA. Exemption of capital gain on transfer of capital asset for shifting of an industrial undertaking from an urban area to any special economic zone. You know the importance of special economic zone. When government will announce special economic zone, they will get a lot of benefits. 124 hours power will be there. The uninterrupted water supply will be there. 100% export oriented unit. No strike or no lockout. Trade unions are not allowed. 24 hours, 367 days, they can work. Good infrastructure will be there. All the facilities government will provide. So that is the advantage of special economic zone. So if already an asset got, SSC got an industrial undertaking, when government will start a special economic zone, he can re, we can re-establish to that special economic zone. So that is about section 54 GA. So he has to transfer his capital asset. So from the existing place to the special economic zone. So then section 54 GA will be applicable. Now allowed to all SSCs a capital asset that meaning which can be transferred. It can be planned and missionary or land and building or any right in land and building. That means if they are taking it on lease also it is possible. Used for the purpose of an industrial undertaking situated in urban area is transferred. To where it is transferred to a special economic zone from an urban area. Remember it's not rural area from an urban area they are shifting it to special economic zone. Now, the capital asset is transferred to any special economic zone as shifting of the industrial undertaking. So, special economic zone can be in rural area or urban area because from urban area you are shifting. The special economic zone, sometimes it's developed in urban area, now it's in rural area also because government wants to introduce the rural area concept. So, government itself, they are promoting that rural area also they are giving importance. Now, Continuing, SSC has within a period of one year before or three years after the date on which transfer took place. So, section 54G also the same condition, one year before or three years after. One year before, I told you how we can get this concept of one year before. Always students will ask this doubt. I told you, 
if they have decided they are moving into special economic zone one year before itself they can decide they can do the initial investment they can do the start the process then you can there itself they can make some investments now purchase machinery or plant for shifting business to special economic zone so either they are purchasing or they are acquiring building ready made building will be there or land or constructed building for shifting his business to special economic zone so shifted the original asset and transferred the establishment to special economic zone so original asset is transferred either he purchased or he moved into a new constructed one or he is transferring his original unit to the new one now incurred expenses on such other purpose as may be specified in a scheme framed by the capital Gaun central government for the purpose of this section i told you expenditure will be more when you want to transfer when you want to uh, shift industrial undertaking huge expenditure will be there for transferring assets now amount of exemption least of the following two will be exempted amount of capital gain earned on the transfer of capital asset so whatever the capital gain earned or amount spent on the purchase or construction of new asset in specified economic zone within the specified time now within the specified time so if the new asset is transferred within 3 years three uh, within the specified time you have to remember one year before or three years after so how you see that whatever is taxable whatever capital gain they got and whatever new investment they made plus the expenses for transfer if there is any difference they have to pay the tax now consequences are there if the new asset is transferred within 3 years please remember that all sections under section 54 lock in period is 3 years before 3 years if they are transferring then they have to pay back the tax so in such a case exemption given earlier would be taken back that meaning capital gain arising from such transfer and capital gain got exempted earlier both will be taxed in the year in which it is transferred so when you are selling before 3 years you are again getting a capital gain plus whatever earlier you claimed capital gain exemption both will be taxed in the year of transfer now last section 54 gb long term capital gain on transfer of residential house property if net consideration is invested in the equity shares of an eligible company this is a new section 54 gb now conditions allowed to all ssc that means hef individual company partnership firm association of persons everybody can claim now in the you have to remember 54 and 54b only individuals and hef can claim almost other sections we have seen that all ssc can claim the exemption now the residential house property must be house or a plot of land so either it can be residential house property it's not self occupied it's a residential house property or plot of land such residential house property must be a long term capital asset so it's not possible for a short term it's for a long term capital asset now such residential house property must have been transferred on or after 1/4/12 so after april 1st 2012 or but before 313 2017 then only they can claim this exemption the investment can be in eligible startups also now you know that central government is giving so many exemptions for starting startups so if they are investing in startups also it is if he can claim the exemption now the investments can be in equity shares of an eligible company the ssc has to form an eligible company or he has to buy equity shares from an another existing company amount of exemption how we are calculating long term capital gain into cost of new asset divided by net consideration you know how you calculate net consideration sale consideration minus expenses on sale now provided the company has utilized this amount to purchase new assets within one year of subscription of equity shares after getting the equity shares from the ssc he is getting the money so with that company wherever he has invested that company should have used for buy new assets now the share and plant and machinery so purchased should not be transferred for a period of at least 5 years so here the lock in period is 5 years now consequences are there if the shares and new assets are transferred before 5 years so here lock in period is changing to 5 years earlier all the sections it's 3 years now here this 54 gb the they cannot transfer before 5 years if exemption earlier allowed shall be withdrawn and considered as capital gain of the previous year in which such equity shares or such new assets are sold or otherwise transferred so that is the condition if they are selling before 5 years in this set condition it's 5 years is the lock in period so if they are selling it before or if they are transferring it selling the land 
for new residential house property again or if they are transferring the equity shares or if they are selling the equity shares. I told you this section has got only theoretical importance. So that is why 54G, 54GA and 54GB I have explained with the help of only theoretical concepts. When I have checked it again and again, they are, we are not asking questions for in the problems also we are not getting questions. So this is what I want to tell you. So this I am going to put that in my educational video YouTube channel Alice Pony educational videos. So just like my textbooks all my subjects I am going to upload in the YouTube videos. So that educational channel you can see and you can learn the subjects online. So by listening to this video lecture and listening to the and how you have to do this. If it is a problem paper maintain the notebook that is very important. Questions and all you write the questions in your notebook the notes also. Whatever I am showing it in the PPT, you have to copy it in your notebook. Write the questions and do the problems on your own. Again, if you are getting a mistake, go back to the uh, video and learn that. Then you do that. So, this is the only way of learning. Happy learning and uh, watch the YouTube channel and you learn this. Educate, or education can be simplified. So, it will be, you will find it really useful. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.